Hey guys, how are you? In this video, we are going to be doing something very exciting, but also kind of nerve-wracking, if I do say so myself. As you guys probably know, but if you don't know, I will link the previous episodes to this mini-series below. Basically, I am helping a real estate investor slash apartment building owner who owns multiple different buildings design one of his buildings and all the units in the building because there's going to be a renovation that's part of it. In the first episode, I showed you guys around what the before state is of the building. It's quite run down. And then in the second episode, we came up with the designs. So again, I will link those down below. And if you wanna check that out for sure, go and check that out because then this will all make more sense to you. And in this episode, we are actually going to be showing the building owner my designs, walking him through my recommendations, and getting his feedback. I mean, I do just want to add a little disclaimer here. My recommendations are based on everything I've learned over the past few years. I have spent a lot of time looking at interior design and design principles and stuff like that. I'm not a professional though, obviously, but I, you know, the building owner's purpose for getting help with this is really to be able to attract a specific type of clientele. Ultimately, it's over to him. He's gonna make the decisions for himself based on everything. Um, I'm just helping him out and giving him the opportunity to envision something different. So I really appreciated some of your guys' feedback in the last video and different options that you would consider. A lot of them I love. And yeah, we're gonna see what the building owner thinks of the designs. Hopefully he likes them, fingers crossed. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good morning. So I am just packing up my laptop right now to go and meet with the building owner. I'm going to run him through the designs and like the different options that I mocked up. And I am very excited to show him. I'm interested to see his um, reaction and just what his general thoughts are. I know there was like a specific type of flooring he wanted to keep and I need to try and convince him to go with something else. But I do think if he wants to go with his original option, like we do have that mocked up as well. And I do think that there's good options with that too. And then also I know with the appliances, he wanted to keep black appliances. We did mock up white as well. I didn't mock up like the most expensive versions because I know he wants to keep it a little bit more affordable so for example the stove is still like a coil stove we'll see what he says we'll see what he thinks about the designs and I'm really excited to see his reaction and response so yeah we're gonna head on over to that back to the unit and we'll get his input okay let's go so should I start with maybe the floor colors you can so this floor is actually this floor, which is a click floor. Okay. But I'll show you some of the other ones that I mocked up. Yeah, so uh, those are beautiful colors. Really. Actually, first, what do you think about the appliances? White versus black. I like the black, you know what I mean? I'm not adverse to it. Black's not a deal breaker at all. So I actually did the full mock up first in black. I wanted to oh, see if something could work in black. Yeah, so that's, that's where this came from. Okay, gotcha. For the floors, so this one's a Bjork. It's neutral, it's warm, it's my favorite. We've also created a sheet for you that goes through every option for each of these with the price stated on it, or ranked it by whatever she prefers. So we've given you, for example, wood, there's three or four options. Wow, that's uh, super professional. I appreciate it. I didn't expect any of this at all. <laughs> <laughs> thought it was going to be samples on it. Honestly, it's so hard to tell from the sample. That's like, you know, it's like... It's just one little... Like a little square, and then you're like, hmm. Okay, so that's this one, but then I I pretty much looked up all the grip strip ones because I know that that was your preference. So this is the second one, which I think is probably the nicest one. This is High Point Chestnut. Okay, so this is kind of what you're thinking is the best option. From grip strip. Yeah, from grip strip. Yeah. And then just to show you like some of the lighter grip strips, this one I just thought it was too washed out. Um, and this one was way too green. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. The counters. They have like veneer, you can do paints and like these epoxies and stuff too. Yeah. There's so many cool uh, yeah. ideas out there. There are, yeah, it, they're not as, um, they're not as durable. They scratch and they can be like sometimes a lot of work too. But, I mean, how do you fix, how do you fix the like You that? can't fix yeah. that, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I looked at this, I liked this one the most and that's what's on this. So this is like a Carrera marble. Yeah, the Carrera look. 
There's another one that they came out with called Hava. It was this, but a softer version of this. I just felt like they both looked good. It's a timeless look. I think it will transcend time, I think mm -hmm. you're right. Mm -hmm. I also think like more of a statement marble, like something that is a little bit bigger compliment because if you look at like design in general if you have a lot of little patterns if something feels a little bit off you want one that's like a little bit bigger so i feel like with the countertops that's a good way to do it for the backsplash if you go with more neutral tones overall that's going to be like the timeless kitchen i think you'll get a little bit more longevity so for that the one that i liked the most was this one. I just think it has really nice color shifts to it. What type of grout? I would go probably with a white grout. Which that was an answer I was hoping for. Yeah. Um, we've done black grout on white subway tile before, mm. and it turns out awful. But you're super careful. Yeah, if you're just moving quickly, it doesn't look great, you know? Like, yeah. It, yeah, that's it, true. Yeah. I guess with white, it's like more forgiving. Forgiving, yes. Yeah. For the cabinet, so <laughs> I try. I tr I seriously tried. We went to the stores. I took the Don't cabinet that yeah <laughs> that you gave us. <laughs> I searched online over and over. I was looking on Pinterest. I just wanted to find like any example this color that just would transcend time. And if you upgraded the countertops and the backsplash, that it would like feel right. Even a half situation, like maybe you just switched it. Half, I just couldn't find it. Like it just. I tried. I hate to say it, but white just. Everybody loves white. There's not yeah. like white is that it color. Is. Yeah, I think there's just one thing that I know for certain in, in these designs. White. White. <laughs> it's white cabinets. <laughs> <habits. laughs> you know, that's that's a given. I think. So. That's so true. Yeah. Where you go too far, uh, the island. Uh, what's you uh, pick a color there? Or what's okay, so that's actually navy in the bottom. But let okay, so let's go there. So I kind of have to have two different designs. This is the waterfall edge. This is like a more standard within waterfall. Let's look at that first. I did a couple different colors on the inside, so like navy, gray, beige, gray, white. So you can kind of see the difference. Um, and then within like the standard island, this is like a charcoal color, and this one's navy. Which I think, if it's the full thing, I like charcoal more. So it's like the charcoal, is, does that have a bluish tinge? Or it like, does, like yeah. yeah. No, yeah, it does. But it's okay. still like, it's it leans. No, no, it blues. My thing is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> is this all black hardware that I'm seeing or is this stainless? It is. I think especially if you keep black appliances, if it ties it in. I think it ties it in. So here's the question mm -hmm. to you. Um, sink and faucet. Or you just keep it going. Let's see. So I was thinking I could keep that type of sink, but just have a faucet oh. that's black. That's what I was initially oh, thinking. Yeah, the silver and then switch out, and switch out the black faucet. faucet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice savings and yeah. good. So this is kind of, this is different than what you have. I like it, but it's simple. No, these are details that, that are the matter. Awesome. Okay, so I wanted to touch back on the cabinets for a second, because, mm -hmm. so this is not like the correct way that you would fill in this section. Yeah, but I see what you're doing. Yeah. Um, but I think it makes a big difference. It's a bulkhead. So a bulkhead appearance. I just think going from this to this makes it look a lot nicer. Ties it together. Yeah. You could actually just frame it in with wood and drywall. And exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's actually, the... it's, pre it's super cheap. Yeah. yeah. Statement. It's, yeah, statement. So, one of the last things is lighting. Okay. I like the track lighting. I, I always have, your sister would have the same. She, same yeah, thing. similar. She has like similar. a, yeah, yeah. I look at like, I have to have. <laughs> Thank you for that. If you remove the pendants, I, like, I, so here's my thing. I feel like there's like certain little things that add tremendous value. Yeah. Okay, value is my favorite word. So I just think it goes from like, okay, yeah, this is standard to like, oh, this looks, oh, this is a nice, yeah. this, is, this is particularly nice. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Okay, so wall color, if it was me, I would go with like a soft white. It might get scuff marks here and there. So does everything else. Though. So does everything else, yeah. Are the lights really that much different in the array? Do you know what I mean? Like From my experience, yeah. Like, huge difference. Huge difference. Crazy yeah. to think that. If you just pick a white based on what you think looks good, even based on one test, it can look so blue or so yellow or so creamy, especially different times of day, where the sun's coming in, mm -hmm. which unit you're in and where the sun faces. You want like a really neutral white that's slightly warm, otherwise it'll look sterile. I looked at all sorts of designer, interior designer recommendations, like 
color after color after color, website after website after website to see what they said. Yeah, I'm up for it. I, I'm going to buck the maintenance team on this one. I, mm -hmm. I, I like it, you know, the white walls. It just shows a bit more if, if you bang it up, but whatever. Yeah. It's just a little, a little bit of paint we have to splash on. Yeah. We have to do it anyways after people move up. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not a big deal. Yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, like, say you kept this island, you should see, like, the floors, because I know it's still nice with the high point chestnut. Okay. chestnut. So the first one, first choice is the Bjork. Yeah. Second yeah. choice is the high point chestnut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and the Bjork is this one of these ones here. Yeah. yeah. Like, that goes to that. It's, yes, yeah. the Bjork one. Yeah. That looks better. It'll come down to, like, how much you love the grip. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> This stuff here, the, the problem with it, it has no padding. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So it actually plays into noise. Uh, uh, considering that for years, like it's been our preferred product, but we recognize it has its weaknesses too. I can tell you the gist of how they put it back in. Yeah, sure. They say cut off the corner, so you know how you get it out. You cut a triangle on either side, you cut it down the side. Yeah, so you're trying to make a triangle here. Yeah. 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 Okay. <clears throat> and then you can pull up. The triangles first, and then each side will come up. We'll click out. Okay. Yep. And okay. then it says to put it back in, you cut off this piece okay. right here. At the corner, like a 45 degree angle. Yep. Here. On both sides. And then you put adhesive on this side. Okay. Like a little bit of adhesive. And then a little bit on the other side. Okay. And then you just snap it back in. Yeah, I guess that's how. It, and then hammer it back in. But I don't know, like. How much quicker versus, like. Well, I think it's going to be slower, but I think yeah. it's potentially worth it. Yeah. That's got nice screens. That's. That's a great choice. You can keep this. Do they, they let you have this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll send you the stuff. Very informative, guys. Okay, so I am finally back. It was interesting to get his opinion on things and see what he was kind of thinking. I think we might have convinced him on the floor to do click floor instead of like the stick floor that he wanted to do, which is great because that means maybe we'll get a better color option, especially with like the lighter wood options that I liked. It was great that he was like super open to changing the cabinets, it seemed, the cabinet handles he liked. So yeah, I feel like he, he liked a lot of it. Now, I think he's going to take this back and think about what's feasible and what's not. Like for example, with the island, I loved the waterfall design. He seemed to like it too, but with it being a rental, maybe it doesn't stand the test of time in terms of durability, considering it's not made out of stone, it's made out of laminate. So I'll be interested to see what he goes with that. And then with the other island option, previously he would just do like the standard white color that it comes with, but if it needs to be a color, like how does that work? If there needs to be additional trim on it, is it worth the additional little steps that take it over the edge design wise? And in my opinion it is, because I feel like those are the things in Toronto when I was looking, I've looked at so many buildings in Toronto, apartment buildings, it's always the ones that had like that specific final touch of design on it that just made people really like the building and think that it was a cool place to live. So yeah, I am super pleased with how that went. I just sent everything off to him. So. So this is actually Delia from the future coming to you to share a little message and behind the scenes and what I'm thinking, okay? So we are going to have a next part of this um, mini series and it is going to be following the journey of the renovation and we will see what the real estate investor slash building owner chooses for his finishes, as I mentioned, it's fully up to him what he wants to go with. I did just want to clarify something because on the first video of this series, I got a lot of comments from people who are absolutely wonderful and they were congratulating me for this opportunity. And thank you so much for the congratulations. However, I just want to clarify that I will probably never go into this area of business just because I don't want to be in a position where I have direct clients and it's really their last say is the final say. So I just want to clarify that. I have no aspiration to ever go into that as a business and to take on clients and do this as a regular thing at all whatsoever. And I also just want to say, you know, one of the reasons I left the corporate world was because I used to have a lot of presentations and I was known for giving really good presentations. I would make really fancy decks. I would prepare for it. I would kind of think from like a business strategy mind to be able to convey the right kind of business story in a way that would make sense to leadership and stuff like that. I was really good at it, but I 
really, really didn't enjoy it. And so doing presentations like I did today, even though this is more of a walkthrough, it's just not something I particularly enjoy. I'm really grateful to have the opportunity. I'm really glad that I got to do it. I also think this will really help me for if and when I ever built my own house and I get to pick everything from the ground up, I, would, I think that would be really, really fun. And so having this is kind of like the first little teaser into that. Do I have any other updates for you? Maybe I do. I am planning with my husband, we're planning to go and stay in a dome for a couple days. And I will be recording that and sharing that fun, relaxing experience with you. And I also wanted to share in July, we will be going to Italy and I plan to create videos while I'm there, including antique shopping, thrifting, going and seeing how different types of things are made. And instead of just being a generic vlog, I think they will be like more pointed around specific interesting topics. And hopefully you guys will really like that. If you have any additional recommendations around that topic, let me know down below or specific things you've wanted to know if you haven't been to Italy before or if you've been to Italy and you have recommendations on what I should do, drop them down below. Okay, cool. I will see you next week. Thanks so much for tuning in. I love you so much. Bye.